I'm back home. Mm -hmm. My room hasn't changed much. Mm -hmm. So, where did you say my... <coughs> where did you say my... Your Highness. <coughs> Your Highness. <coughs> Your Highness, I know. I heard it. We got your hands. Besides, I am your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Now, tell me, how was your exams? Oh, splendid. Oh! Let me remind you that your little daughter is now an economist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am fulfilled. Oh, <laughs> even after all the suffering from the cold hands of death. Oh, I am fulfilled. Oh, oh. they say your mother is not one year from death, so we cannot party. Oh, I feel like calling the bluff of grief and I'm pulling the biggest party to the chagrin of death. <laughs> Please. Why can't you stop talking about me? Please. Please. Oh, all right. For you, I'll do anything. So, it is September. Ah, uh, you mean you're set? You're st are you still going to have the NYSC bash? No. I doubt it so much. Besides, it's almost impossible. Well, well, well. So I am going to have you to myself for the next five months. If you ask me, I'd say it is splendid. Oh, I say absolutely splendid. <laughs> My dear, you remind me so much of your mother. Oh, oh I owe her so much. So much love, so much care. And now she is no more. And to you, I will give all my love and care. Thank you, Father. Oh, my don't be upset that I am talking about her so much. You know, memory lasts. Grief builds. I don't mind forgiving death 
from taking away my wife. But no one should, for, should blame me for not forgetting that death took my wife. I love you so much. I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again every day. Mm, Your Highness, maybe you should take a walk. A walk? That wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? It wouldn't. To your uncles, maybe. Oh, my uncles. I was thinking of something different. Something new. Aha. It's the market. There are four market square. Well, it's okay um, if His Majesty approves of it. <gasps> oh, to the lake. The lake. What is it called again? Yowa. No, Your Highness. You know, your father has always been against you going there. Remember during your mother's burial? I do. But that was a long time ago. Your Highness, I, I still doubt if he will give consent to it. We'll see. No. No, I will not. Why, Father? Why? You know that water is not good for your health condition. I do not have a health condition, Father. So stop holding me with that. My dearest. I, 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 I am sorry. But you know that I will not tell you what is not good for you. Because I have you and no other. Hmm? Hmm? Me too? Me too? Me too? <laughs> <laughs> Just look up. Uh -huh. I the vehicle to take the princess and, and, and her maids to Polo Park. Right away, Your Majesty. No! Huh? I do not want to go to the Polo Park. I want to go to the lake. Right. Um, swimming pool, yes. Now, you make sure that she is restricted to the shallow end, right? Yes. Father, yes. Hmm? now you're beginning to offend me. I've seen enough of swimming pools in my university. We had enough of swimming pools. I've seen enough of that. I do not want to go to swimming pools. I want to go to the lake. The Yoba Lake. But princess, please, please, please. Father, <laughs> please. No polar parts, no swimming pools. I want to go to the lake. Uh, um. What is wrong with the lake? I want to go to the lake! Uh. Why can't I go to the lake? Wonderful. 
Are people allowed to go into the water? My princess, everybody is free to go into the water, provided they can swim very well. Oh, come on, Lola. I'm not going to go that deep. Okay. Just to see what it's like to be inside the water. Easy, easy. easy. Please be careful. <laughs> now you're scared, huh? <laughs> My princess! My princess! Somebody help me! My princess! Somebody help me! Hi! 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 I don't want to carry a handbag. Just give me my swimming trunk and my towel. And let's leave before my father gets here. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Hila! Hey, Hila! Hey, Hila! Hey, Hila. Hey, Hila. Hey, Hila. Hey, Hila! Where, 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 where is it? In the room! Where? At the palace now! Oh, <laughs> My name is Casey. Yes. Casey. Yes. My name is Casey. Your daughter. The princess. Yes. She's by the lakes. My daughter. Can somebody go in her room and get the inhaler? Did you hear that? Go! Hurry! I need to go! Yeah, how, 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 how is my daughter? How, how? What? Water. Where is this inhaler? I need an explanation as to why this 
thing happened. Ngeji? Your Majesty. Explain to me. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I did not know where she left the palace. Yes, Your Majesty. I was driving in the same car with you, Your Majesty. Yes, yes. Uh. Otado? Yes, Your Majesty. You are supposed to be a gate man. Yes, I am. Explain to me what happened. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. I did not know you better from leaving the palace. You're an idiot! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. As the gate man, are you not supposed to ask about her destination before you grant her ex exit? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You are sorry? Yes, Your Majesty. Lock this place up. And remind all of them here until I get back. And you? Abuji? Your Majesty. Did I not ask you to give that young man a leave to 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 hasten the reply? I was, Your Majesty, but he insisted on running. I gave you an order, and he insisted on running. Now, now let me tell you, somebody is going to die today, and it's not going to be my daughter. You people should take care of it. <laughs> Let me run to you go palace and go and get I'm coming. Okay, no. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Hi! You were there when I gave this nitwit an order, which he didn't carry out, and you did not say anything. Now join them! But your majesty... Now join them! I am sorry, your majesty... Shut up! Your majesty... I'm I sorry. said, shut up! Your majesty, I am sorry. Princess! Your highness! Shut up! Young man, is, is she alive? Yes, sir. Please, please. Take one second. Please follow him. Please. Please follow him. And where are you going? The need of it. And you. And you. And you better start praying. You better start praying that she does not die. Because if she does, you are all.
Just go slowly, please. Slow down. Ah! Are you sure your bone is not broken? It's not broken. It's dislocation. Hey. Ah! Hey. Oh, Hey. Oh, Hey. Oh, Hey. The princess knew she could not swim. Why did she jump into the lake? Or was she pushed? I don't know. I, I don't I don't think so. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Cassie. Slow down now. No, sorry. Sorry, bro. No. Should we see your uncle? No, tomorrow. If if let me see how it goes. Maybe tomorrow. I'll go and see the chemist. If it doesn't the pain doesn't go then maybe yes oh, that, that's the spot there you keep pressing it hard oh, sorry. hey always okay I didn't know that the princess was an asthmatic patient I mean, I, I'm surprised myself I didn't know Okay, come and help me. Eh? Yeah. Mama, are we going to carry him? You should manage and go inside now. As you can see, I'm reading my book. Ma, I can I can get up myself. Mm. Sorry. Oh god. It's okay. <sighs> Tomorrow you will go and carry princess again on your mail maker. The injection will uh, help the oxygen therapy to have a maximum effect. So she's going to wake up very strong in due course. Good, good. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome, your host. Uh, please, I'm still very sorry for my late arrival. Actually, I wanted to do that when I came in, but I said it's better I'm done with the injection uh, before I start the... No, 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 no I, I understand. I understand. Thank you very much for yeah, your wonderful welcome. understanding. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, you see, I I am placing her on bed rest, uninterrupted. Good. But uninterrupted. You know why? Because uh, it's very serious. So I will come by to see her from time to time. Good. Good. Please, please, please do come. I will. I will. I vow, Your Majesty. I will. I think I should be on my way. Met you. Your Majesty. I arrange the car to take the doctor wherever he wants to go. Right. right. Away, no, 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 no. I came with my own car. Oh. With my own little jello pill. Ah, yes. I, um, see the accountant on your way out. Okay. And uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So I like to take my leave. Thank you. Thank you. To my father. Lord! Oh, where is Uloma? Your Highness, His Majesty has relieved of her duties. No! No! Why? It was my fault, not hers. 
Why should my father have her punished? No! You know the stranger who saved my life? Hello, Your Highness. His name is Cassio, Your Highness. Cassio? Yes, Your Highness. Cassio. Oh. Yes, come. Bye. Princess. Oh, my princess. How are you? Sit down, sit down. How are you? I'm fine. You should have sent for me. No, Father. The doctor prescribed uninterrupted bed rest for you. Please, Father, I am fine. Besides, I couldn't stay in my room any longer. I came to apologize to you for disobeying you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's not your fault. It is my fault. What? Huh? Father, my maidens tried all they could to stop me from going to the lake, but I insisted. You don't have to punish them. Oh, you see, that Uloma, that Uloma has become consistently lousy. And I want to use this to punish all her mountain of misdemeanors. No, please, Please, my dear, please. Can you please get up? Not until you say you've pardoned her. Okay. Okay, I have pardoned her. You're welcome. Thank you. Please, sit down. Thank you. Um, Your Highness, I'll wait outside with Pucci. No problem. Thank you. Uh, Your Highness, please, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, wait. Is this something you want me to help you out with? Because your ankle still hurts, I can see. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're sure? Yes. Thank you. Thanks for offering. Uh, well, I'm a graduate. I live in this house with my mother and my sister. My mother has gone to the farm and my sister has gone to school. I also hear that you teach at the college. Well, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not full-time. It's a part-time job. Uh, I was employed by the PTA to help alleviate the um, low teacher capacity. So, more or less, I'm just helping out. Low teacher capacity. Okay, I hate to ask too many questions, but are you okay with that? I mean, you graduate, you pass through a university, and then you decide to settle in the village. Isn't that odd? Well, I'm just wilding away the time here uh, because I have some debts to pay up back in school and I'm um, just trying to make some money after which I can do my service. You haven't served? No, I haven't. Because. I need to pay my debt, which I haven't, so I wasn't cleared to do my service. So I'm just hoping maybe in like a year, I can do that, hopefully. I'm making you talk too much. I mean, I'm asking you too many questions, right? No, 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 I'm fine. I mean, I'm willing to answer them. It's just that I was, I was just thinking, I want to ask you. Please, do. Ask me anything, I'll answer. Well, um, you, you've been here for a while, and um, I appreciate everything, I mean, your visit. Sister, I was just thinking, um, it's like my heart skips a beat every time I remember. You're expecting somebody. No, 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 I'm not expecting anyone. Um, I was just, Princess, have you got your inhaler here? I'm sorry. I, I so I'm sorry if if you don't misunderstand me. I hope I didn't overstep my boundary. I'm sorry, please. It's okay. I, I'm just a little nervous. Yeah. 
that I'll die in your house. No, 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 please, Ali. Princess. Princess, I am I said I'm sorry. That's here. I didn't mean it like that. Honestly. Thank you very much for saving my life that once. But trust me, you won't have to do it again. But I was wrong. It's still here, Father. It's here. And they say, put it behind you. And when I put it behind me, it comes again. And then they say, claim it by faith that it's gone. And even when I do that, it comes even worse. Why? They stop lamenting. How can I? How can I stop lamenting, Father? How? The reality of this ailment is scattering my mind. People are no longer comfortable being around me, Father. They're scared. They are nervous. They think that I'm prone to an abrupt death at any time. They are sick. They are the ones who are prone to die any minute. They are right. They are very correct. We said the same thing about mother. She died. She died within a twinkle of an eye. You will not die like that. Oh, you will not. Just believe and continue to live your life. I believe, Father. I believe. Mother believed. She believed, Father. But she still died. Oh, God. Please, God, please. Why don't you take this ailment away from me? Why? You can if you want to, please, God, please. If you ask me, I will say that all is well with you. Just do me a favor. Always make sure that your inhaler is close to you. I don't know if you can buy more than one. One in the office, one in the car, one at home. So at any time, and make sure they're not empty. And continue with your exercises. They will continue to keep your lungs open. Do that for me. Every time you suffer, I suffer too. Yes. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day. Your Highness. You have a guest. I'll be there in a minute. You will be all right, my dear. You will be all right. tell you something I know my my statement back there threw you into a very bad mood and I want to prove a point so I limped all the way here just to let you know that I am sorry I am deeply sorry for what I said I I didn't mean to cause any harm I was just concerned that's all Tell me something, Cassie. Why does everybody think I need help? Why does everybody think I need sympathy? Why do they think I'm piteous? Why? It's because they think I'll soon die. No, no, Princess, please don't talk like that. Nobody thinks you're gonna die. It's. 
It's just that I hate the ailment. I was just concerned. That's why I ask. I hate the ailment. I don't I don't dread you, you as the princess. I dread the ailment. And you're not the ailment. Okay, that's what that's why I asked the question. The thing is, I have seen Asma kill. I watched it. I was standing right there. At a very tender age. Couldn't render any help. I saw my uncle die. My father's only brother. It's been years now. And I've gotten over it. But the guilt still lives in me. And I hate it. And that is why I can't help it. I spontaneously respond or get concerned when I see any asthma patient. I'm, I'm sorry if it didn't go down well with you. I'm sorry. Your uncle died of asthma. When I was nine, when I was living with him, yes. And uh, I so hate that memory. I just wish I could help then. I got it. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I've gotten over it. It's all right. You know my mother, right? Yeah. I heard she died of asthma too. Don't cry, please. You know, when my mother died, I thought she had paid the price. I thought I was free. I thought it was gone. But I was wrong. Here I am, still being counted. I'm not afraid to die. I don't fear death. I just fear to die helplessly. I fear to die of asthma. I hate asthma. I want to have my own life. I want to live life. I want to be myself. I want to be free. I don't want people always coming around or helping me. I just... I just want to be free. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. I want to have my own life. It's alright. It's alright. You're not gonna die. Father. Orledo, I said you should leave us. But he is my guest. I heard you the first time. Leave your guest and I to deliberate. May you? Your Majesty. I need some privacy with this young man. You're not by any means. Authorizing me to to force me out. Are you, Father? <clears throat> Your Majesty, please let me come in here. Um, my princess, your dad wants to have a word with me in private. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Just listen to his wish. Please. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Young man. Yes, Your Majesty. Are you aware that my daughter has been betrothed? Uh, no, Your Majesty. You are now being informed. Young man, at this point, I would uh, 
I'd like to express my honest and sincere appreciation for your saving my daughter's life the other time. Indeed. I thank you. But I would like all subsequent visits, not only to her, but also to the palace, to be clearly defined. Is that clear? Yes, yes, Your Majesty. It's clear. Good. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have a guest with my father in the palace. Please tell Prosper. I want my guest to meet me at the garden when he's through with my father. Princess, is it the guest with his majesty? Yes, Cassier. You know him, right? Yes. Good. But, Princess, there's left him. He's left? When? How? May to let him through the back door. <sighs> Father! now, did you talk to the girl about marriage? No, Mama. We didn't... We didn't even say anything about marriage. No, we didn't even touch marriage. She was basically pouring out her heart concerning her fears about the ailment mm. and then lamenting her mother's death. I was only trying to console her. I was saying that uh, I even lost uncle mm. to ask me. Basic, ah, of course, no. No. what's your problem? Oh. Sorry, no, I'm trying to see if you can fix into the socket. Ah. Yeah, doctor. Doctor, my brother. Did you go and see this, your uncle? What did he say about it now? Or is he only to tell you that his daughter is engaged that he didn't reasonable to say? I need a Be a touchy. Massage that leg and come and help me in the kitchen, oh? Oh, mama, I'm almost true. It's, it's okay. Leave it, leave it, leave it. You give me the rub and go and help mama in the kitchen. Mm, can you do it? I can do it. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, brother, I'm a second told. Should you not be distancing yourself from that girl before she dies one day while with you? Hey! What kind of crazy hmm. Mama, I know that. what I'm saying. That girl can die anytime. Shut up! Hmm. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. He asked me if I knew that you were engaged and I, I, I said no. Then he went on to say that by that conversation I was being informed. 
Then he thanked me for coming over. And I understood it as a very polite way of saying I'm dismissed. Castier, I'm so sorry. He must have been so embarrassed. Please, don't take it to heart. It's okay. Please. It's alright, I understand it. I understand how it works perfectly. I should be on my way now. You haven't resumed work yet? Oh, yeah, I have. It's just that it's a Friday, and I thought I'd just wait until Monday. Nice outfit you have. Thank you. Welcome. I should be now. And your uncle? How is it? Um, it's, it's fine. It's, uh, the pain is subsiding, and uh, I'll be fine. It's fine. <coughs> Mama, um, you're back. Um, yeah. Afternoon, Princess. Mm. Princess, you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Uh, why are you standing now? You know, you didn't give her. Is it? I was already taking my leave. Hey. Thank you very much. Hey, how, is our, how is your father talking? He's very well, thank you. I should leave now. Thank you so much for thank coming. You. Uh, thank Take you. care of your uncle. Hello. Oh, I'm seeing all over the car. Father, I thought you treasured my life above every other thing. That boy did everything he could to save my life, including curing pain of himself. How could you treat him that way, Father? Even if you cannot show up to see your boy and his family, you would at least be friendly with him. Your Majesty, the chief spirit. Get out of here, you foolish cow! I am talking with my father! Have them wait for me in the palace. What has come over you, father? Oh, nothing has come over me, my dear. I was beginning to wonder if something has not actually come over you. Sitting in the garden with a young man in a rather suggestive manner when you should be running away from distractions and concentrating on your proposed wine curry. What has come over you? Father, you're being ridiculous. Ridiculous, yes! What you saw at the garden was just the tip of the iceberg compared to how he held me and he was trying to resuscitate me. Father, he was there. He felt my helplessness. He was there at my point of need. You weren't. At the garden. He was trying to console me. He was trying to dry my tears. That is all he has ever done, Father. That boy gives me a reason to leave. He talks to me in a passionate manner. A manner that makes me want to fight for my life. <laughs> so what you are trying to tell us now is that you are very, very fond of him. Is that what you are implying? Please, Father. Don't you dare! From me! Don't you dare! Was that what I was going to do? Walk away from me? I'm sorry, Father. You're probably out of your mind. Show appreciation, you demanded. Well, I'll see about that. Madam, we invited you here to express our heartfelt gratitude to your son and your family for saving the life of my only child. You know, in a drowning incident of an asthma attack. really thank you. I don't know whether he told you about it. Yes, Your Majesty, he told me of it. Ah. Oh. Your Majesty. Me too. Your Majesty. Um, in appreciation of this um, gallant gesture, we would like you to accept this sum of 50,000 naira. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
Thank you, Majesty. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, 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 I'm very much overwhelmed by the show of your appreciation. But in due regards to your royal ordinances, without prejudice to your generous gesture, um, I'm afraid I cannot take this check. I mean, I accept it though, wholeheartedly. And I immensely thank you and pray that the good Lord will... Why don't you want to keep my check? Well, your majesty, with all due respect, when I did what I did, I did not do it with the mind of getting a reward. I did not think it. I did it out of a good heart. And I mean, a thank you is inevitable though. And I will accept thank you any day. That is, the princess survived the attack. Something that surpasses thank you. And something that's even greater than what 50,000 Naira can ever do for me. With, without prejudice, Your Majesty. Please. Wait, Your Majesty. Um, please, please. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, <laughs> we, are, we are overwhelmed. All we can say is um, thank you. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm overwhelmed. I mean, I mean, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just don't want you thinking that something wrong is happening. I mean, um, Your Highness, your father is on the line. His Majesty. Father. I'm at the lick. Father, I just got here. I haven't even done anything. Your Majesty. This is a most pleasant expectation. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm all right. And you? Oh, we're doing fantastically well. Yeah. I feel <laughs> come, you. Come, I come, feel come, come, come. And you look good. Honestly, you look good. I love the, uh, the blinks, you know. We're actually on the same page. Thank you. I feel you. Oh, you are welcome. Nice to see you again. And um, how is my friend? Your Majesty, he's all right. He's okay. He's cool. Uh, we met last night upon my arrival. And though he's very busy at the moment, but 
he promised he'll be here later this evening. But you know how it is, work and all that, but he'll come. Oh, Chamberlain, I really feel very sorry for him. He doesn't, he doesn't care to rest at all. You know, German Senate Committee on Finance, Vice Chairman Petroleum, Vice Chairman uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, Secretary to the Constitution Review Committee. Ah, ah. I said to him the last time we met, if you do not have some rest, I would deny, denounce my friendship to you. Your Majesty, you're not serious, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I meant it. You know, I have lost too many friends to the hustle and bustle, you know, that is, that, 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 that is associated with this country's polity. You know, so I, I, it's, 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 where is Chuba Okadibo? Where is Sule Yarkandi? Where, where are the Zeeks, the Owls, the Saudanas? Let's tell him. Oh, he shall be well with him. But that no man, no single man has ever been able to complete the process of nation building. No, 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 not at all. You're just going to kill yourself. <laughs> Trust me, it's not worth it. Uh, exactly. Please tell him. All right. Your Majesty, I promise. I'll tell him that. Oh, my son. Oh, you are most welcome. Thank you once oh, again. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, uh, Oza? Oza? Oh. Where is this boy? Oza? Ha! Perhaps he will catch up with us. Uh, Your Majesty, you know, you and I are just seen for the first time since uh, the death of Her Majesty. So, uh, I want to offer my profound condolence. Please accept it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we try to put, put it behind us. It's not easy, but we're, 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 we're trying. <laughs> Uh, now tell me, how is Texas? And how was the celebration of the fifth? Uh, Barack Obama? <laughs> Your Majesty, it was awesome. I'm telling you, it was... <laughs> I just don't know how to put it. It was splendid. I mean, quintessentially sublime. Your Majesty, should have been there. Honestly, you should have been there. You, you missed so much. Oh, I, 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 I we wish were, I were there. We all went crazy. Oh. And I mean, very crazy. Though, within the confines of the law, but it was, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. And, uh, Your Majesty, mm -hmm. hope you still left it a surprise. I mean, my, uh, my return. Absolutely. <laughs> and I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> me too. Yes, Your Highness. I thought you said my father wanted to see me. He asked me to meet him here. Yes, Your Highness. Then, where is he? In just a minute, Your Highness. Father. My angel. What was all that hash call about? Oh, well, I have a most wonderful surprise for you. <laughs> Beyond <laughs> your wildest imagination. What? What is it, Father? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, you! I missed you. You look good. I thought you said next week. <sighs> Baby, just wait, 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 wait. Just do a spoonful. No, I will not. Oh, please, please. Father, I'm so disappointed. You're part of this con. No, 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 no I, I, I wasn't. Well, he only asked me to help him. And I obliged. Yes, you are. <laughs> please, Lydia. 
come here. Both <laughs> <laughs> of you come with me. All right, baby, you just go ahead. No, yeah. please. Stop doing oh, that. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. No. All right, all right. Honestly, I don't like it. I hate it so much. I hate it when I have to call you and you keep asking who is speaking. You ought to have my number saved in your phone. That is so degradingly embarrassing and you know that. Babe, babe, you know how it is. Work and all that. I don't Come know how it is. But all the same, please, sit down. Babe, don't get yourself worked up, please. It's, it's not stuff. I, it's... Uh... Uh... Ola, this is a used inhaler, right? Used? I'm still using it. There's still stuff in it. Oh, wait. And you mean you left it lying here, or did you go out on another? Thank you, Nkichi. You're welcome, Your Highness. Should I serve it? Get out. Can't you see we need some privacy here? Cass. Ola, I asked you a question. Now, I was made to understand that you went out for a stroll, right? Did you sincerely leave your inhaler here? Come on, Cass, come on. I mean, I honestly don't have to carry my inhaler with me everywhere I go. Babe, I say you must. I? And I say that I am the one that has the impediment, and I say I am fine. I have my reasons as to why I don't bother to carry. Babe, babe, please. Ola, you ain't fine. I? I say you ain't fine. And stop living under this illusion that you're fine because you're not. Ola, you don't just have an impediment. You have a chronic ailment, alright? Stop! Oh, babe, I won't stop. I won't fucking stop! Alright? Because where I'm from, we don't chicken out. We face reality. So you better start facing the reality of your health situation. I do not have a health situation. Oh, babe, 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 we need to shut up! You don't fucking argue with Kaz, alright? I say you have a health, you have a chronic ailment! Don't you ever, ever talk to me like that again! Ever! Did she just do that? Oh, no, no, Kaz. Did she? Hola! Oh, Hola! Oh, oh, Thyroid. Yeah. Brake pad. Brake pad. Yes, Your Majesty. I thought we changed a brake pad sometime last month. Um, well, Your Highness, the one we changed is that of the Lexus. Um, this one is that of the... Toyota. Yes, 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 that's true. Yes. Your Majesty! Hey, dude, get the fuck out of here. What happened? Your Majesty, can this nigga leave us alone? I met you. Yes, Your Majesty. I leave us. That's Your Majesty. What, what? What, 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 what do you believe in this? Your daughter just slapped me. I mean, my woman, the babe that I'm built to get married to in less than a month, just rose her fucking hand and slapped my freaking face. My just check this out. I don't this deserve this, man. This, this, this is absurd. I mean, where, 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 where is she? Metro! Metro! Get me the princess immediately. And I mean immediately, like that. Please, Cassidy, calm down. Calm down. I promise you I will get everything under absolute control. Your Majesty, don't tell me to calm down, alright? Because I won't. Honestly, I, I, this is the height of fucking disrespect shown to a brother. I was only trying to take care of my woman, man. Shit, I don't fucking deserve this. I don't.
princess. My princess. Only trying to be a good nigga, right? Caring for my woman. You know, I don't see anything wrong with what I said. Look, from what happened to her mom, she'd have known that asthma ain't something you fuck with. Um, excuse me, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, I don't think the princess is within the compound. What? Um, yes, Your Majesty. I searched for her in a room and even outside and yet could not find her. Hmm. Uh, call me Abuchi. Right away, Your Majesty. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, hold on a moment. What about uh, her, her, her two maids? They are right on the compound, Your Majesty. She has come back to that young man. After I warned her. Forget me, Abuchi. Your Majesty, you are not Tell them I want them to bring back that boy and my daughter immediately. At once, Your Majesty. Your, Your Majesty, you just talked about a boy. What, what fucking boy is that? Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What is it? What is it? The princess is dying. What the attack, Your Majesty? You have to kill me. What? She's dead! 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 That's a vein. I, I, I can see a vein. Y young man, you better get yourself together, right? Or would you rather stand outside? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. Doctor, okay. uh, you, you just take care of my woman.
Yeah, get me a sabotamo. They use standby 4.3 uh, death strokes in 0 0.13 normal saline, right? Fast. Yeah. Quick, quick, please. <sighs> Your Majesty. I wonder why she was left to pass through all this. Some people are supposed to be taking good care of her. Well, not to worry. It's under control. Cassie? Cassie, Moby? Yes, Mama, I'm inside. You are come, or your lunch is served. I'm coming. Oh, no. Oh, Mama, can you please keep it for me? Uh, I have to go somewhere. A back in it. What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I I think I left my key by the lakeside. Okay. I'm going to cover it for you. Oh, make sure you don't stay long. No, no, no. I will just pick it up and I'll come back. I'm going through the front door. Should I lock I it up? Leave it. Leave it. Okay. I'm coming there. Bye, bye. Oh. Sweetie. S sweetie. Sweetie, are you okay? Are you okay? Young man, she needs some rest. Huh? Your Majesty. But she can eat something at least. Well, um. What did she say? I want him to leave. You mean His Majesty? You want me to leave? Uh uh. Uh. I think she's, uh, she's referring to me. Your Majesty, I think uh, our wish prevails here. Gentlemen, cool. don't be offended. Alright, cool, cool. Your Majesty, I'll be outside. I'll see what I can do. Your Majesty, I think I'll be outside. I'll be outside. And you think about the patients. Oh, little. No, uh, uh, everything is under control, I assure you. Doctor. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you give me your word? I give you my word, Your Majesty. Uh, it should be up in a couple of hours, you know, strong and hearty. It's okay. I see. Well. Since one of our maids is here, I'll take my leave. You're very free, your man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time and effort. Oh, your majesty, come on. She's still my woman, right? And I'm a brother. I, I take care of my woman, man. Shit. You know how it is. I take care of my woman. You're know, not minding how hard. Uh, anger played out at the hospital. Big deal. Big deal. No, no. No, I mean, that issue should not be taken into account at all. You know, it's one of those things that you just die with the traumas of attack. You know, I, I, I remember uh, her late mother. 
when she was ill in the hospital. You know, one day she beat me. She beat me so hard that I, I screamed. I screamed, what the hell has come over you? Do you know she didn't bat an eyelid? She was virtually unconscious. When I woke her up and told her what she had done, oh, she wept. She wept so bitterly. She wept bitterly. And I said, oh, Asma, you have dealt with me. standing here. Does she have someone else in there? She's being taken through some examination, but... And why there? Why not in her ward? Her highness, the sister, she wanted to take a stroll, so they asked her to come over there. That's bullshit. Freaking bullshit. Anyway, uh, you tell her I'm around. Tell her I'll be in the ward, right? Job specification also include you coming to sit in patients' private wards and shaking their vista's head. Huh? I mean, aren't you supposed to be making the bed or mopping your micro prone floors? Huh? Huh? Excuse me, but I think you are mistaking me for somebody else. Oh, really? All right. So tell me, who the fuck are you? I'm a friend. What? What is going on here? You know, Sweetie, really, I don't get some. This uh, hospital cleaner, I presume. Uh, I met him here. He's trying to make me believe. He is not a hospital cleaner. I thought I heard him tell you he was my friend. What is wrong with you, Cass? I mean, can't you have got a little bit of respect to those I call my friends? Well, you didn't call him friend. He said he's your friend. And I was kind of wondering the import. I mean, the basis for your friendship because, sweetie, maybe you didn't tell this clown that we're built to get married pretty soon. Cass, I am on hospital bed and I don't have strength for your problems. Babe, I don't give a fuck if you're in a mortuary. I want to sort this shit out right now. You do? Yeah, now. Fine. Why don't you get into your tick skull that I am sick on hospital bed? And besides that, I don't need you hovering around me and causing my body and soul so much anguish. What is wrong with you? Oh, really? Yes. Princess, calm down. Hey, 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 hey! Can you do us a favor here? What is that? Shut the fuck up! Possibly leave. Like hell no, Cass! He is not going anywhere. Rather, you are the one that is not possibly, not probably, but certainly you will get out of here right now! I am sick and tired of your damn nonsense! <laughs> Honey, just hold on a second. Are you disrespecting me because of this, this clown? Huh? Yeah, are, are you actually in so. Hell no, boy, you're fucking with me! Wrong. With undue respect, sir, this is wrong. You, this is my this is baby. You just me don't too. go in. Get That's out of my right. fucking way. Get out! This is wrong! Okay? Don't you dare touch me. I me you. too. Don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Look, if you, 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 you just can't go in. Me too. Yes, Your Majesty. Look, you might. Hey. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Did you just touch me? Huh? Did you just lay your filthy fucking hands on me? Cassidy! Come here! Cassidy! I am fucking warning you. Cassidy! I am fucking warning you. 
Please, Captain. I'm a bad motherfucker. You are in my bedroom. I'm gonna kick your ass. Look, Your Majesty, something is gone terribly wrong, and you need to hear it right now. In my bedroom? Yeah, I, I don't care where, but you need to hear it. Something has gone terribly wrong, and you need to hear it right now. Um, I am listening. Look, Your Majesty, my woman is seeing another man. And I'm so sure of it. Your Majesty, I went to the hospital to see her just as we agreed, alright? And on getting there, I, I saw this piteous looking fellow who every man in his right senses, by all ramification, should either see as a cleaner or waste collector or, or uh, better still, since we're talking about a hospital here, maybe a mortuary attendant, whatever. I saw this guy sitting in my woman's private ward. All right, I kept my cool. Your Majesty, you know me, I'm a brother. I always keep my cool, so I kept my shit together. And then I asked this guy who he was. And this clown found some guts from his freaking black ass to look me in the face and tell me that he was my woman's friend. Then my woman came in. She nagged at me, accused me of disrespecting a friend, and to crown it all, she asked me to leave. All this happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just slow down, Your Majesty, because you ain't heard nothing yet. Now, when I wanted to sort my shit out with this nigga, you know, the way we brothers understand it, yeah. I, my woman joined this guy, and they pounced on me. And in the process, they, they, they broke my lip. I, and they, they, they tore my too fucking costly Jimmy Choo and they, they broke my shit, man! Oh. And they cut my stuff. Oh. Your Majesty, I'm so fucking pissed I wanna kill somebody! Oh, oh, uh, uh, Cassidy, um, uh, calm down, calm down. Um, you know, uh, Ola um, is still in her sick bed. But I have it on authority that she will be discharged tomorrow. So please, be patient. Until she gets home, huh? Please, I, I I beg of you. All right, and the dude? Oh him. <laughs> I think I know exactly how to handle him. Your Majesty, look, I'm a nigger, right? I'm a damn nigger. I want to take care of this guy, my own. I, I want to fuck this motherfucker, right? Yeah, we niggers here too know how to deal with things like that, huh? All right, you just take care. You take care. If I tell you that I like this your new style of wedding, you know that I am not telling you the truth. Reading in the morning, reading in the afternoon and at night. Even during weekends that you're supposed to be helping me with some domestic chores, you're still reading. Mama, understand now. Uh, it's work I'm preparing for. Ah, and so? Are you the only one who has written that that, that way? Eh? Is it not the same exam Cassie took some years ago? I'm going to involve him. So. I'm going to hold on. Yeah, yeah, Cassie, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey! I said it. I said it. Cassie. Mama. What happened? Mama. Okay. Now let's find out what happened to him before. Shut up! What happened? Mama, no, nothing happened. Nothing? With a bruised face and a torn dress? You're saying that nothing happened to you? I got involved in the motorcycle accident. <laughs> Asi! Kasi Mobi, Asi! If you don't tell me what happened to you, I'll raise the alarm now. Okay. I will start shouting. Let me go. Wait now. Alarm that what happened. Make it one. Won't you find out what happened to you before you go? No, calm down now. Calm down. Uh -huh. Nothing happened. Oh. Nothing happened. Eh, hey, nothing happened. Start talking. I was in a fight. Because of the princess, I suppose. No, 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 Mama. I this bike driver. I wanted to go to the car park. He just drove me in there. That very short distance. He wanted to take 100 naira from me. For what? 100 naira? So I was trying to get my change and we fought. So because of that, he did this to you? 
Come and show me this family house. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mama, wait now. Are you going to fight for Brother Cassie? He said it has been settled. Can somebody tell this girl to shut up? Yeah. Shut up! Oh, Mama, sorry. Come and show me his Mama, family house. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Come on, so much it's okay. Come and show us the family house. It's okay. I'm f I'm fine. He's apologized. He said he's sorry. Come and show us the family okay. house now. Mama, I said, what's up the family house now? Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. I beg you. It's okay. Come and show us. Uh, it's okay now. I think Mama said he wants to go to the family house. Ah. Mama, are you stupid enough? Okay. Are you sure everything is okay now? Everything is fine. But I have to beat your sister up. Were you born by 1953? I am barely 29, your majesty. Were you or were you not born by 1953? No, your majesty. So, you wouldn't know anything about uh, the Colonel Riot? I won't know much. In 1953, a heavy and volatile riot broke out in Kano following a motion for independence moved by Chief Antoni Enahuru on the floors of the National Assembly. Young man, I may not have called you here for a lesson in history, but you know that our yesterday Stanley forms the basis of our today and even tomorrow. I was barely three weeks in Kano when the riot broke out. <laughs> it was vicious. There was nowhere for me to go and no one to run to. There I was, face to face with the executioners who were about macheting me. But who should come to my aid? Chamberlain Mwabweze. The father of the young man you engaged in a fight at the hospital. Your Majesty. Don't you dare! Now shut up! Shut the hell up! I hear one more word from you. And I swear to you by my late wife's grave, you will not like yourself at all. Do you want to dare me? Do you want to dare me, young man? No, Your Majesty. Mm. You better not. I warned you that my daughter is engaged. So if what you have with her is a relationship, end it. If it is uh, platonic, rise above it. Because all I care about is that my daughter's engagement to Cassidy Mwabweze must not suffer any setback because of you. If it does, Oh, I solemnly swear that you will be sorry. You will be sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, no, you are not sorry. But you will be. You will be if that marriage suffers any setback. Now you take my word for it. It's nice having you around. Thank you, Your Majesty. I don't want to ever see your face in my compound again. Have I told you that before? No, Your Majesty. Now you have been told. Thank you, Your Majesty. So we could come back together. 
It's fine. See you later. Sorry. But you don't have to worry. Oh. There's a cloud up in the sky. Hola. You don't have to worry. <laughs> oh, my dear girl. You're welcome, Hope. Ah. Come. Come and tell me how you are. No, father. Why? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know what to make of it. So let me ask you a question. Do you know this girl? See, because if you ask me, I'll simply say you don't chicken out like a coward now. Especially if the princess is in love with you too. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know what to make of this. If it is love or lust, empathy, sympathy. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't think you know. See, Gucci, judging from what you told me, it's very evident. You care for this girl. And if you care for her, that means there is some affection. And if there is affection, there is love. Yeah. <coughs> See, believe you me, you love this girl. You know what? Let's just change. No, let's why, change the subject. Why are we you right now? Let's right? just change the topic, change the subject, please. Oh, um, how is um, Kano? Oh, Kano's fine. Come for sure! I do it! Oh, what happened now? Did you want to see me? I did dinner. I did alcohol. But you know what? I did see a guy with the sink for your mind. Oh my, don't make me fall. <laughs>
He's proud. He could condescend into any level as to enhance the self-esteem he doesn't have. He's a nobody, father. He is not a man. He's not a good person. I cannot. Please. No, father. Please. Hold. No, father. Please, I beg you, no. This, this marriage has been arranged a long time ago. That is the point. I don't care. I want to live my life, father. I want to have peace. I beg you, please, let me have it. Please. No. Please. No. Chamberlain didn't ring. Um, I wonder what he wanted to talk to me about. Would you have an idea? Uh, actually, I do. Uh, it's about the sixth. <laughs> yes, we talked on the phone. Then uh, he asked me about it, so I referred him to you. Ah, uh, well, you could have answered him. You could have told him everything is perfect. Sixth is perfect, just as we planned it a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. And um, how is um, <clears throat> you and your darling? How have you been? Uh, your Majesty, that's actually the problem. Uh, I think you're still angry with me about the hospital incident. No, I don't think so. No, I think, I think she is because she's been going cold on me in our conversation. Yeah, like flat, no excitement, no vigor. And, uh, I don't know, there's nothing pointing to the fact that she's built to become my wife, legally, in less than three weeks. I mean, uh, it's crazy. Legally? No. Um, customary. You know, a bright price signifies um, customary binding, not legal. <laughs> Your, Your Majesty, whatever. Whatever. At least I'm to show some love to a brother. You know, I, I deserve it, man. Sure. <laughs> I think I deserve some love, man. <laughs> uh, These um, conversations you've been having, have they been one-on-one -on -one or on the phone? No, it was just on the phone. On the phone? Tell me, Cassidy, why, why don't you uh, go and talk to her one-on-one -on -one in our room, soul to soul, heart to heart? Hmm? No holds bad. No holds bad. <laughs> I think we'll have a drink on that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I like it. You know, I, I think your last clause makes some sense. Uh, no holds bad, right? Yeah, exactly. I love that. <laughs> I, I love that. Come on, let, let, let's drink to that. <laughs> You know, you might just say, you're a brother. I'm telling you, man, you're a nigger. I feel you. I'm a good check out. All right. All right. All right. I'm you do that. Deep. It's all right. You might just say, you know me. I'm a brother, a real brother. I take care of my woman. Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Hey, slow down. Slow down. Just slow down. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a good check out. I still don't understand it. I, I don't know why you did that. Threading these dangerous roads, dark, no guards, no maidens, and you came all the way here just to see me. I mean, I understand it, I appreciate it, but you shouldn't have. Send for me instead, and I will gladly come and see you, defiling your father's orders, I would. Oh, come on, Cassie, you worry about everything. 
mean so much to me. I came to see you because you turned my life around. I like the things you say to me. It makes me feel really nice deep down inside. Until I met you, I felt like life was nothing. Life was worthless. I felt like just letting my life flow until last night takes it. But you've taught me to fight. Me to stay alive for a reason. That reason is you. I could call you anything. Anything. I chose to call you the angel of my life. That is if you let me. You can call me anything. You're free to call me whatever. My spot is your spot, right? Cool, I like that. I like it. Uh, Gabe, yes, sir. let's see your discretion, all right? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You know, babe, wait, babe, sincerely, you are looking fabulous. I'm telling you, you're looking splendid. Thank you. What do you mean, thank you? Is that all? Like, you don't see anything good in Harlem. Look. Babe, 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 I don't get you. Why do you keep giving me attitude all the time? Is it because of that, that dude, that, that layabout? Because I'm going to kill that motherfucker. No, it's you. Your attitude. Your stupid attitude. Honestly, do you really think we should continue to act this stage, be aggressive stage the first? Because if you ask me, I think we're both very bad actors and we're just not thinking of those issues. Oh, yeah? Babe. Let me ask you a question. Why, why do you keep making this look like someone is actually begging for it? Of course someone is actually begging for it. That's because I know that someone is actually begging for it. Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. All right, fine. You know what? Let's just cut this shit out, Gabe. Pull up the fucking car. Fine, pull up the car, Dave. Gabe, I said pull this fucking car up. Cut out this shit. Good. Pull up the car. Pull up the car and I'll get the next available cab. Gabe, I said pull up. He has already pulled up. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. 
You're welcome. Doctor, I'd like to ask a favor. Okay. I want this to stay between us. Well, uh, if that's what the princess wants, it's okay. That's exactly what I want. All right. I should be It's all right, no problem. All right, take care of yourself, ma. So how have you been, my dear? Oh, all right, all right, my dear, all right. Uh, you are most welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so what is that your name again? Uloma. Uloma. Uloma, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I can see that. Please, it's enough. Oh? Thank you very much. You can take those things with me. Thank you. Uh, Millie Bundo. <laughs> ah, what is life? Oh, you are most welcome. Thank you, my dear. My dear sister, I need you now more than ever before. I do. Oh, I'll tell you. That's a lot to tell you. Yeah, I hope all is well. Hey, hola, ma. Father. <laughs> What a pleasant afternoon. Ah, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hey, you're looking very well. <laughs> you're very welcome. She, she has grown. Every day she grows bigger. She is a big girl. Oh my god, she's uh, a graduate. A graduate, yes. <laughs> Hola. Auntie. Thank you for granting me this audience. Okay. It's okay, Auntie. Mm -hmm. All I want to say is that your father. And this senator Mwabeze have been friends forever. They've been friends from when they were very young. They've been through the campaign together. Eh? Look, they've been friends from even before your father, the wind of uh, uh, royalty blew over your father's face. He had always seen him out of his troubles, out of his problems. And the only thing he has ever asked of your father is this your marriage to Cassidy. In fact, he begged for it. Auntie, father has told me everything. He's told me about the food. He's told me about the shelter, the clothing, the burials, everything. I hate for this moment we want to spend together to be in vain. Please, Auntie, tell me any other thing except Cassidy's issue. And this Saturday will make your father very, very happy now. I thought you had always looked forward to this marriage thing. Huh? Look, they say that Mama and Buni Rute, husband, is a woman's virtue, a woman's pride, a woman's honor. A good husband, Auntie. A good husband. And that is what Cassidy intends to be to you. What is wrong with everybody? And you, you don't even know Cassidy. You haven't spent time with him. Mm, I may not know him very well, but all I do know is that a uh, uh, good marriage borders on the two parties concerned, overlooking each other's uh, little, little shortcomings. Look, this Saturday will make your father very proud. It will, it will bridge your father's loneliness over the, the, the time. Eh? Uh, because of your late mother's death now. Please, Mwam Piko. Go close, go close to Cassidy. Love him. Bring him very close. I'm sure he's going to love you very with all his might back. <sighs> Auntie, please. Please. Hold on, please to Please. Make my brother happy. Kill his loneliness. Yes. Please, my dear. Piko Mwam. For my child. Do it for us. Please let it happen. Let it come to be. Only. Cassie, calm down. I thought you said you weren't taking the princess's advances to heart. What is happening? 
not after she made me feel like that. Oh my God! Damn! Cassie, you know what? I think you love this girl. I can see it in your eyes. Well, it's late now. Apparently, it's late. What do you mean? I, I was, I was a coward. I should have told her about it. You know, maybe if I had told her earlier, it would have changed things, possibly. Cassie, do you know the boy in question? I mean, that guy is too janted. Nasine Topikino. So, and, and you guys are from different world. I mean, you are here, he's far, far, far beyond you. So you don't blame the princess for making that choice. I mean, if I were in her position, I would have done the same thing. But I love her. I love her. And I care about her. And I know for sure that bully of a senator's son is no good. He's not good for her. You are. I love you. Princess. What are you doing here? Your mother told me I'd find you here. Hi. Hi, princess. What's going on? I'm good. Did, did, you, did you come here alone? Oh, 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 excuse me, guys. Uh, well, why don't you guys excuse me for a moment? Hmm? Um, Thank you. I'll see you join you. Okay? I came to ask a favor. Did you come here alone? Yes. No. I always come alone when I'm coming to see you. No. Yes, yes. Cassie, please. I need you to be there for me tomorrow. I beg you. You mean at the bride prize ceremony? Yes. No. I beg you. No, I can't. Cassie, please. Please, I beg you. Just do it for me. I can't. You belong to somebody else now, and I just need to stay away. No, please. The last favor I'm asking you for, it's the last one. Just do it for me, and you'll notice that everybody will appreciate it. I beg you. Please. I need you to be there for me. It's hard for me, okay? I don't know even how I'm going to do it. I don't think I should do it. I know. I understand it's hard. But just do it for me. I beg you. Princess who came here looking for you. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Take this jug inside, oh. Ah, uh, uh, Mama. I, I thought you brought it inside now, and instead of you to to take it to the room, you carried it to this place just just, just to increase someone's body. Oh, body bearer. Just do what I said you should do. Yourself, oh. That sound was for you and not me. Oh, zoom, buanum, pam. Now, what is the problem? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. You're not fine. You don't even look fine, so you cannot deceive me. I'm out of it. Are you blind? Take a closer look at your brother. Ah, Brokasi, it's true. Mama is right too. About what? Look at your eyes now, eh? Can't you see them? They're swollen up again. Shame, Mama. So you can see them. Tochuku. That's what you do. You cannot just calm down and get the details of an issue before you just jump inside it. Namu. Tell me what the problem is, oh? Mama, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> Okay, now I understand, Mama. Is it because of Cassie's mood? 
Hey, I heard that his princess is about to get married to mm, one rich boy like that, the son of him. Would you shut up? Ah, shut up oh, you oh, can say leave me now. Eh, leave me, Mama. Tell him to leave me alone. You, you think I don't know? No what? Ah uh ah. -uh. Am I lying, Mama? I told them not seeing each other. Oh, my goodness. Diana, wait. Maybe he's not sick or he's missing her to love. Hey. The boy. Go inside and sleep. Just go inside. Yeah, Mama. I I'm not feeling sleepy now. I want to sleep. Uh, you're not ah, so oh, I'm not feeling sleepy now.
Toledo, Father. my golden beauty. Today is that day that we have been talking about all yes. these years. Yes. <laughs> A day of fulfillment Mom. of your destiny with Cassidy, Mwabwezi. <laughs> <laughs> and so I charge you. I want you to take this glass of wine from me. Now I want you to go around. Look for him. Look for that man who satisfies your dream of a husband. That's right. Then give him the wine to drink. Mm -hmm. And bring back the glass mm -hmm. to me. Go. Paramount and I love him. I beg you, Father. Aledo, you have broken my heart. Hell. And for this, I stand on the hands of my ancestors. And I therefore declare that it shall never be well with you. Chima, you were before. Tears. Pain. Hmm. Anguish. <laughs> Shall be your companion oh, no. all no. the days of your life. It was my grandma could be Cosiano. It would be Cosiano. It would be Cono. It would be Cono. It would be Cono. It would be Cono. Look at me. Look at me, you will be colored. You will be colored. You will be colored. Revert. Revert your cause. You will be a fool. You will. You will. You will be Dead. Dad, you ask me what is happening? Huh? No, 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 Dad. Are you asking me what is happening? Huh? Alright, I'll tell you what is happening. That damn bitch you've been arranging for me since my teens has just rejected me before a whole goddamn crowd. Now, in order for me to regain my sanity, I've 
booked the next available flight down to America and it's due for departure by 10 p.m. That is what is happening there. Uh, look, my son. It, it, it was... It, it, whoa, 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 Just hold on a sec, man. You know, I feel something else is happening here. You're just going to try to stop me, right? That's what you want to do. All right. I'll tell you what. Dad, if you try to stop me by way of any physical contact, I swear to God, Dad, I'm going to kick your freaking teeth down your freaking throat. You feel me, right? Damn right. You are becoming silly. Well, I'm a chip of your old pie. Father, please. Your Majesty, please. Please forgive them. Your anger is justified. But when it comes to kids, one does not strike the knife with the same force with which it was raised. Please, Your Highness, forgive them. Please. Huh? All I hear is your only child. Mm. That's the only grain you have. You don't have any other one. Biko, please. Oh, Bugi Bwada. Cool down your temper. Biko, please. Please. Popula. Please. Look down on the knees before you, mm. pleading for forgiveness. Yes. Please forgive her. She's your daughter. And bless her marriage. Please. Bless her marriage with your own word. Swallow the curse that you rained on her. Please, Your Majesty. Mm. Father, what you did to me. Oh. Oh, what you did to me. I'm sorry, Father. Please. Thank you, sir. Please. May the Almighty. Forgive you and bless you. Amen. Amen. As you are going into a man's house, may may the may the Almighty and our ancestors. Grant you the womb, the fruit of the womb. Amigo.
Yeah. Don't take anything for granted, please. The minute you feel something, let my man know immediately. Come on, my love. Anything like what? Hello? <sighs> Baby, the pregnancy is barely six months old. Don't tell me you're expecting me to go into labor tonight. No, no, no. no. It's, it's just, I'm just being precautious. You know, the feverishness, the dizziness that you get sometimes. Why are you scaring me? You're beginning to sound like you've begun for anything. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going for about... I'll be back in the month. Back in... Less than three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Just what three is weeks. happening in less than three weeks? He's coming back. Coming back? Uh-huh. Then that is um, local jazz that close. Well, it's not far away, but it's quite close. Yeah, but that does not mean you should be applying the highway. Oh, oh, mama! Look at this one. <laughs> Don't you know you should be the one telling him this? I need him around and you're driving him away. Uh, hey, you need him. I'm back following him. <laughs> huh? He shouldn't be applying the express too often. Oh. You should not be applying the express too often. Oh? Well, when it's like that now, I mean, you had your, your, your own turn, your experience. My time. <laughs> so, because I have passed through such experience, I should be encouraging her. Well, eh? I'm not angry. I'm not going to get angry. That's because <laughs> I know Mama is jealous. <laughs> well, but if I get too upset, I'll see you're not going anywhere. I'm not going to get I need him around too. Nasty. <laughs> By the way, are you sure Damian is still coming here to pick you? No, I was beginning to wonder why he's not here yet. Good for me. That means we can stroll down the road and get to talk more before he comes. Mm, definitely yeah. not with me. Carrying this road, I'm not here. Let me carry that. It's simple now. So three weeks. Three weeks I'll be back. I mean, how long does it take? No. Yeah, right. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> 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 Oh, They say that it's when a woman is newly pregnant that she sleeps anyhow. Huh? How come you are beginning to sleep anyhow at this stage of your pregnancy? I hope there's no problem. Mm -mm, no problem. What is it? Mama, is it not your She has been sleeping here since morning. So? Were you given the duty of waking people who have been sleeping since morning? At this time, Mama, at this time. Are you a timekeeper? Can't you for once do something reasonable with your time? Eh? Oh, don't you as anyone you've suffered. You see about. If, if you're not careful, I'll blind you with a slap. Mama, it's okay. It's not okay, my dear. She will never ever mind her own business. Mama, is it not my business that my brother's wife is sleeping anyhow? Eh? Is you it not my business? You're a fool. A woo. Say that, oh. I've heard, no. I've heard. It's just that it's time to cook lunch. And um, who are you talking to? You cannot cook lunch. Mm. Eh? You mean you cannot cook lunch at your age? Are your are your mates not in their husband's houses? Mama, I can cook. Oh. Mama, everybody knows that I can cook very well. But it's just that when I finish, when I finish cooking, let nobody complain of too much pepper or no salt or no oil or anything. That is my own. The way what? Hato no. Let me take you inside so that you can see. Fresh air. Fresh air. Are you okay? Mama? Ma oh. Mama? What is it? Hola! Hola! Okay. What is the problem? What's the problem? Your waist? Your waist? 
my waist. What about your waist? It's aching me. Ha! Oh. For six months? Oh. 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 Yes, you see, madam, uh, premature contraction at less than 28 weeks of the pregnancy is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. <sighs> so I'm suggesting that, you know, you go get her husband. Yes, because from the way things are going, we might be opting for, for a DNC. You know, that is if contraction persists in the next 24 hours. Doctor, we go. DNC. Is it a kind of drug? Oh, no, no, it's not a kind of drug. You know, uh, it's a medical term that, you know, refers to removing the baby in order to save the endangered mother. Hi! Yes. Chim. Hey, who has this boy done wrong in this marriage? Doctor, was it not when the pregnancy was barely two months old that she threatened to, to miscarry? Well, it's okay, madam. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just get your nerves together, right? Just look for your son. It's important. Hi. Yes. He just left last night. <sighs> Honestly, madam, it's necessary. You know why? Because there are some documents that he needs to append his signatures on before we carry on with the DNC. You understand me? So it's very, very important. <sighs> Me, you will not be checking up on me. No, no, now come see her time to time, no problem. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hi, she This is a labor with a difference. Her pregnancy is barely six months old. So, so what did the doctor say is the cause? Mm -hmm. She had a bout of malaria last week. He said that is what caused it. Has Cassie been informed of this development? Even though the doctor said I should inform him, but I don't want to panic him. No. How did you know we are here? Oh, I just popped to the house. I just, I just got to the house and told, you, told me you were here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Why don't you calm down? Eh? Calm down and hear me first. Eh? You need to relax after such a long journey. Or did they, um, all I tell you that we've not been taking care of her at the hospital? It's not that. I just don't like the fact that she's in a hospital alone with Tochi. I don't like it. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to trek to the hospital? It's already late now. Why don't you sit down? Eh? Relax and thank those of us who have been taking care of her since. Who have been bearing the body. I will tell you the state of things. So how, how did it start? Contractions at six months. What? What does it signify? Uh, the doctor said it's a um, premature contraction. Oh, so, so my wife is going to have a premature child. Is that what it is? Uh, no. Let me get you something to eat first. Mama, I don't want to eat. Did I say I wanted to eat? I want to know what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Tell me what I want to know. Nothing much happened. Just that um, she had malaria for a few days. Even, even you. I left my wife here with you and you, you sat there and allowed her to get malaria. I mean, how is that possible? A pregnant woman. Kasimobi, do I see malaria? Or am I the one who transmits malaria into people's bodies? But, but you, you, that's why I left her with you. You're supposed to be able to direct her. Show her what to do. You've been down that lane before. Did you get malaria all the times you got pregnant? I don't think so. 
prevent it? Who in this country that does not know how to prevent malaria? She doesn't know how. That's why I left her with you. You're my mother. You're the only mother in this house. How can you not prevent malaria? My son, I think you need to sleep. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I don't, I don't, I, don't tell me what I need, alright? Don't tell me that. No, I understand how you feel. Eh? Yeah. Hey, Ash. Yes. Hey, Ash. Hey, Ash. Has the property? He has. Okay. Did he prescribe anything for this young man? Yes, he did. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Um, <clears throat> give him um, hydrocortisone, right? Yeah. Then observe him for like twenty or thirty minutes after the injection. Yes, doctor. I am my present. No, 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 no. Intravenous. I think I have to be on my way. I'm so tired. I'm so fagged out. So I'll see you here tomorrow. Oh, it's, it's me. Yeah, it's my the, the princess's husband. Oh, you are? Yes. Have you been sleeping here or something? Yeah. Man, let, let me tell you something. Run around and get some money. Good money. You know why? Because the DNC is due first thing tomorrow morning. That is if contraction persists. Um, doctor, please help. Young man, young, 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 young we're, we're, we're talking about a hundred thousand naira here. Oh, with it's about a hundred thousand naira. That's just that. Doctor, please, uh, Juliet, yeah. please uh, tell the morning people to uh, place a folder on my table. That's the princess's folder on my table. Tell them that she is due for DNC first and tomorrow morning, right? Okay, that's Make no mistakes about that. Doctor, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is, yeah. excuse me. Don't you have human feeling or something? Look at look at how I, how I am. I'm tired for the day. I should be in my home resting. Huh? Please. Just let me tell you. Your wife is in safe hands, huh? Just relax. Nonsense. If I'll pass on you. Pass on me now. Pass on me if I become a football. What is wrong with both of you? Go! You to leave, leave! It's okay, it's okay. Oh. It's okay, I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry. I'm here going through pain, and all you do is just talk nonsense into my ears. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just calm down. Just calm down. I won't calm down. I won't. Where's your name? Where's your name? Where? I thought you was in here. I thought you was in here. You can't get it now. I thought you want to do it all by yourself. Get it now. Get it. You're joking here. What's wrong with the job? It's because it's until now. If not. I'll bring them in. Give me this. Tell me when you arranged with her, or rather, 
when you hypnotized her into terminating a long-standing relationship with Cassidy. So now why are you telling me she's hospitalized? Your Majesty, it's because of the money's involved. I need your help. I need your help. Oh, money. <laughs> so now you need my help. <laughs> well, 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 well. All my life, I, like you, I was poor, miserable, begging. But only one man, only one man always came to my rescue. And that man is Senator Chamberlain Wabweze. The man whose relationship with me you terminated without remorse. Now you come here shamelessly, shamelessly to ask me for money. Oh, well, follow me into my bedroom. <laughs> I have stacks and stacks of cases there. Oh, yes. Cartons of money. Maybe five cartons. Will that be enough? Your Majesty, your daughter is in danger. Danger. Really? Well, in that case, we should pray fervently that she doesn't lose it. Now you listen to me, young man. It is because of her that I look at you and I keep my peace. So you better pray. and work hard that nothing happens to her because if she dies you're dead Majesty I know you're angry with me oh angry <laughs> 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 now I know you're dumb. I am extremely, verily, extensively, and unpardonably angry with you. And if you know what's good for you, you'll make sure my daughter survives. Your Majesty? You're dismissed. You are dismissed! Excuse me? I'm mad. Are you mad? 
Huh? Is that what they taught you in medical school? When people don't have money, lie on their bed and cry because they don't have money, you just watch them to die? Is that what they taught you in school? So who is this one coming from? Why are you asking me that stupid question? Why are you stupid to you? Don't look around playing. Huh? You keep calling my mother, asking her for money, asking her for money. And then you abandoned my wife in her room since yesterday. Cassie will be My brother, take it easy. Don't tell me that nonsense. She almost died because she had an asthma attack. She's asking for money. What is wrong with you? I, I, I understand this. Step back. Don't, 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 you don't understand nothing. Don't talk to me. Simple. It's better that you treat my wife. Now go. Simple. This is treat her only. This is not you. Now go inside. Why are you coming to this God? Somebody said you want right now. This God of sick in hospital. I don't mean what I mean. God! Doctor Miko, we are very, very sorry. It's okay, it's okay, madam. It's okay, it's okay. Madam, let me tell you the truth. The only option is DNC. And before that is done, we need money. Tell him to go and get money. That's just that. Simple. Uh, uh, talk to him. We are sorry. He, he's sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 you have to take things easy. With our hearts together, I'm sure we'll scale through. I hate to see you worry like this. We're not cursed, my love. We're not cursed at all. I believe that everything is going to be well. Please. I just want you to take things easy. I am going to be fine. That's where the doctors care about me. Mama, help me talk to him. Help me tell him I'm going to be fine. Help me beg him to stop worrying himself like this. Please. Nam, listen to your wife now. Eh? Why are you losing hope? Why are you despairing? Does our Bible not tell us that God will send us help from the sanctuary? Eh? And support from Zion? Nam. Don't you know that our help will only come from God Almighty, who made heaven and earth? Have you forgotten that? Enna, did you forget? Mama. The Igwe has blessed my life. Of course he has. So why am I suffering? You don't know. Why am I suffering like this? My love, every, everything... Everything is... It's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Tell me what she's making up here. Oh. Hello, doctor. Yeah, I'm not going to. She's still in contract. Okay, once in a while. Human, don't misunderstand me. I think you have to do something. You have to do something urgently. It's very urgent. Don't take it easy. Just take it easy. Something like what, madam? I mean, I, tell me exactly what do you want me to do for you? Your Majesty, please, please, Your Majesty, I, I beg of you. There's this saying that a spite between two brothers does not go beyond the flesh. And um, another one says that when a mother uses the right hand to beat her child, she uses the left later on to cuddle and console the child. Madam, what is your plea? Please, sit down. Even though I was not the one who asked you to kneel down, I mean, in a nutshell, how can I help you? Your Majesty, I, I've come here to beg on behalf of our children. Please, forgive them. Forgive them and overlook the mistakes they made in the past. Please, Your Majesty. Why do people always bring up this forgiveness issue? Please, please sit down, sit down, sit down. 
On a serious note, please. Imagine. Was it just? Was it just? Was it not just about uh, a month ago? When? When you came here, and I gave the children my blessing. Then, why? Why? Why has this issue brought up again? Your Majesty. My son said that he came here asking you for money for your daughter's treatment and, and you turned him down. <laughs> oh, madam, I did not turn him down. I told him I didn't have money. If I had money, it's my daughter we're talking about. I would have given. I myself, I have been praying fervently and I've asked him to pray as well, pray hard and God will continue to bless them. Thank you, thank you very much for your visit, Madam. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, Mr. Actually, we are rescinding our earlier decision. Uh, examinations revealed that uh, contraction has ceased 95% and baby is in good condition. Oh, fantastic condition. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> doctor, excuse me, can I come in? Why not come in, yeah? Uh, Given the present situation, is there any other thing we are expected to do? Uh, yeah, I, I hope we don't have to pay more money. Oh, come on. Money's not everything. You see, all we need to do now is just to be on our lot, you know? Since we've, we've paid the bills and everything, I mean, the next thing is for us to do our job, you know? So, um, if we observe her between now and the next two or three days and she's still in this wonderful condition, we'll just discharge her. That's just that. Um, Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're not going to fight me again. Uh, no, Doctor, he's a good man. He's just pressure. Yeah, I understand. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, you're a wonderful person. How are you? You're a wonderful person. You're a wonderful person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, thank you. You're a good man. Thank you. so grateful for everything that you've done for me. I leave everything to God. I know He'll repay you in His time and He'll keep you safe. It's okay bro. See, God made it available and we have to do it to do His will. Yeah. Okay? So, what's your next plan? Are you going back immediately or do you still have permission to stay longer? <sighs> I... I'm, I'm, I'm so still confused, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I have so many things hanging in my life right now, especially this attitude test I have in Abuja on Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to leave her, go, come back. I don't know. Listen, my man, you've got to do what you've got to do. The doctor has confirmed her stable. That's why she was discharged. Okay? So if you ask me, I will suggest you take a time out. Especially that up to test. You don't have to miss it. So what's it for? Is it a bank or something? No, one oil company like that. Oil company? And you want to allow the opportunity to just go like that? Oh, come on, man. Ola is fine. 
she is okay and she's strong-willed okay so you have to be a man all right especially that test don't have to miss it hmm? yeah um i'll think about it good i'll think about it I, I th yeah you're right i will i'll make it for the test where i can just catch up with them either in lokoja or in abuja i'll have to make it one of these saturdays you're right I'll good good yeah Good. Uh, okay, sorry, I have to start going now because I need to see my people before I okay. head back home. All right. Once again, Buji, I thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, greet all your people for me. Tell them I say hello. And I appreciate all you've done for me. It's okay, Cassie. Why are you overblowing the whole thing? I mean, yeah. what are friends for? I did what I should do. You see, if I was in your situation and you in mine, yeah. I, I know you'd do better because you're a man with a good heart. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, I got to go now. Just take care of all yourself, all right. right? Okay. All right. I'll see you. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good one. Okay. Why, why, why would he react like that? Why, why, why? Baby, don't, don't talk like that. Don't misunderstand me. It's not like he threw our plea completely out of the Come on, my love. You try to maneuver out of the situation. You're not helping me. You're killing me. Cassia, I want you to feel my pains. I want you to feel my loneliness. I want you to feel rejection and my dejection. I want you to feel me. I feel you. I feel you. Pain. Just don't cry, please. How can I stop don't crying? Cry. How can I stop crying, my love? How? How can he just... How can he just reject me like that? He calls me dead when I'm still alive. He has sold me to death already. Why would he hate me so much? Why would he turn his back on me like that? Why? I mean, what am I living for? What am I still living for? Don't talk like that. You have me. You have me to live for. Huh? I'll always be here for you. You will? Yeah, I will. I love you. Yes, come in. Nobody has beaten her. She's fine. What's your problem? I need five thousand naira. What? Five thousand naira? To do what? We are starting our work next week, and I need to buy new sandals and leave my hair. And what is wrong with the old sandals you have? Eh? Mother. Since this one, oh, nah. Ah, even if I'm the poorest, at least I need to change my sandals for the Is it a new rule or something? That you have to change your sandals for Wayek? What has Wayek got to do with weaving hair and changing sandals? Tochi, please. You're almost done with school. Why don't you just manage this one? I beg you, people should try and do something about it too. Tochi, I said I don't have money. Can you understand that? <laughs> when my result is no good, let no one quarry me. I mean it, let nobody complain. Because I don't know why I cannot change ordinary school standards. Tochi, I said I don't have money. What's your problem? I want to make. I don't have money. It's not as if I want to plant a uh, bomb, Mario. I said I don't have money. What would you do? I've heard. Father, I insist 
doctor in Ukraine to find out if for sure you heard that I was admitted at the hospital. And you did nothing. Father. I am talking to you, Father! What? I am talking to you. I demand and I deserve an answer! You don't. You don't know what you deserve. But in a jiffy, you will find out. Me too! Me too! Yes, Your Majesty. Walk out of this room. Your Majesty. May you walk her out of this room, out of this house, out of this compound, and I don't want to ever lay my eyes on her again. But, but, but Your Majesty. Me too. I gave you an order. You're fired. Out. 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 Father. Now. Are you, are you going to get out? Who knows? Who knows? Mama, you needed to see my father's face. You needed to see the way he looked at me. Like I was nothing. You needed to see the way he ignored me, Mama. And when he asked the guards to throw me out and they refused, he did it himself. My father shouted, Mama. He shouted at me that I didn't know when I got to the gate. And all the guards that pleaded on my behalf, you fired them. To see Abba, Mama, this is wickedness now. My own father do this kind of thing to me. Don't you? Mama, it's bad now, eh? It's bad. Let's condemn what is condemnable. Oh, Mbwa, get out. <laughs> get out! Mama, if I see a problem, if I didn't see a problem... Come on, Mbwa, Truth. What truth, Ola? Eh? What truth? <sighs> no, don't worry, oh. Please, help me call Cassie. He has to hear this, Mama. At least he has to know how I'm feeling right now. It's okay. God is going to make everything well again, won't it? All I know is that God is watching. Whoever that is living his or her life should know that God is watching. Because he said in the Bible, in um, Ecclesiastes, that we should not be too wicked. Don't cry again. Oh? Stop crying. Don't support evil though. Stop supporting evil. I know what I'm saying. What kind of nonsense is this? want this girl no? If not, what are going to kill her? What brought about that talk now? Did I say that what your father did was right? I'm all past you. Eh? She's a child. Ha! No, 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 no. But the way she said it, it was as if I said what your father did was right. What day I'm going to kill this girl no? I'm not going to kill anybody. Ha! Was that why she brought the water for you? After you, you didn't tell her to bring water for you. Ononako, that was bad. That kind of treatment was inhuman. Uh -uh. Your only daughter, your only surviving daughter. Uh -uh. How could you have met that kind of inhuman, inhuman uh, uh, treatment on her? Hmm? It's not good now. I feel like we're going to draw the other ones here. Bano, you better cha 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 cha. Are you done? It's no matter of whether I'm done or not. It's whether you heard. Did you hear me? Oh yes, oh yes, I, I heard. And I ask you again, is this the reason why you came? Eh, hey, now. Is it good? What you did, was it good? Now get out. Huh? Get out. Get out of this compound and go back to your husband's house. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Yes, you. I say, Idani ano no? Idani ah? Idani ano na ako? Idani ah? Ibu tali acha acha? Ano na kisi lasi? Ano na kisi lasi? Shuwa shuwa. You want to be cutting out? You want to be? Oh Zita! Oh Zita! They called you and you came. Eh? I want you to get three other men with you. You are going to carry somebody out of this house. Apo wale giza, ibu, eh? Oh, they told you to come and carry me out, and you came. Mba come and carry me out now. Come and carry me out, don't you, Apo? Oh, 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 Can't go see Nambu. Pelicomo. Not now. I'm just alone. Ben Nambu. Iya. Come here. Come on, come here now. What are you waiting for? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he is waiting. Where are you going? Come on, carry me. Come on, carry me. What is so? Eh, come on, carry me. Come on, carry me. You said they should come and carry me out. Eh? They should come and carry me out. Ben Nambu. He can't hear me. and others have been given loan concession by the state government okay. in collaboration with the ICANN Bank. So constrain your selfless and devil services when you were here with us in the secondary school. I negotiated for you. Wow. And then make you a particular of the loan scheme. Yes, along with all of your colleagues, Solomon, Johnson and the Nick. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. The loan scheme has a form you have to fill. Every particular should organize between 200 and 500% of benefactors and my salary. Okay. And going by that, you've been fixed at 360,000 naira annually, which means that we claim to be paying you against 30,000 naira monthly. That's good. That's just, I'm, I'm enthused, sir. I'm very, very enthused and I'm so speechless. I, I so appreciate it. We all are prosper. This is the form you have to fill. Okay. Then when you fill it, you take it to the PTA chairman who has a column there for, for recommendations there. Okay. And at last you take it to his majesty, who of course is your father-in-law. He has a column to fill for you there. Once again, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, I will not. No, I don't know you and I don't want you to know me. But if you do, as you claim, then I put it to you that you have made a very costly mistake. Because nothing Nothing can make you and I share any relationship. And this I have told you before. I don't know why you make me repeat myself. Thank you, Your Majesty.
Your Majesty. I do not want you to sign this application for me anymore. But I wish that your anger to me will wane. Surely not for my sake. Or your daughter's sake. But at least for the grandchild that she carries. Your grandchild. And your late wife. Makeable late wife. Who left you nothing in this world. Other than Allah. Your Majesty, please. Please. You are adding insult to injury. Now get out. Majesty, I'm sorry if I spoke wrongly. Get out! with his the evil that he said that I have done to get married to you what about the good thing that I did hmm? what about that when I saved your life is he not the most ungrateful person on earth <sighs> Prosper he's still my father what difference does it make to me make any difference. He sits on his throne. He lives a lavish life. Look at us. Look around you. We hardly get food to eat. And you call him your father. Please, my love. Stop lamenting. I beg you. I only wish I just wish I could find a way to win his forgiveness. Cassia, you're my strength. You're my heart. You're my love. You're the only reason I'm strong. Please, stop lamenting. I beg you. Everything is going to be fine. You see. You see. I appreciate your efforts and everything, but I just cannot. What? What is the problem? It's no problem. Just personal reasons. Has it anything to do with the repayment something? Because the conditions are favorable. Didn't you read them? I've read it. Look, the conditions are excellent. It's 
I, I just cannot. I cannot. You, you can't just count. Tell me what's the problem. Prosper, there's a problem here. You can't just count. What's the problem? Talk to me. I'm like a father to you. And if there's any problem, two of us can handle it. Confide in me. Tell me exactly what's the problem. I'm here to help you out. Please do. You are most welcome once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. So how is uh, the school and the teachers? We are fine, Your Majesty. We are doing absolutely great. Good, good. So, what can we do for you this time? We know that you are not the courtesy visit type. Your Majesty, don't take it to the heart. It's just the work. The workload tends to increase, most especially when the vice principal has been transferred. Everything is now me. I understand. We really understand. We were only joking. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, I'm here personally to ask you for a favor. This form here belongs to a guy that served us diligently. And then our personal ask you to attend to his recommendations as expected in the form. This is the form allotted to KCA? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. Mr. Principal, don't you think the fact that uh, Cassie is my son-in-law is enough motivation for me to sign whatever document he brings before me without you having to lobby the chronicles of his virtues when he was at your school? No, no, Your Majesty. He was exceptionally commendable. I don't care! I am exceptionally accountable for those to whom I give my recommendation. And as I told him earlier, he does not deserve my recommendation. And that is my assessment. I am very sorry, Your Majesty. I don't mean to upset you. You have just done that. And I don't like being upset. Tony? I'm in here, sir. Okay. So, but I don't just understand. He's sounding too extra. Can go now. So, the man is sounding too extra. I don't just understand. Honestly. Because for his son in law, he's actually he's too extreme. I can't, I can't picture it. So, what's the point? It's alright, sir. I want to thank you for your efforts all the same. I appreciate it very much. Uh, anyway, I suggest, you know, you still don't, don't give up. You hold on to the phone. Because we have to go through somebody he listens to, or even to a wife, so that you can see this thing come true. No, sir. I think it's about time that I just give up. You can't. Prosper, I say you can't. You need this relief. Be a man. Don't give up at all. What's your problem? It's can you see it's not it's it's not forthcoming. It's it's not it's it's not happening. It's not happening. Prosper, I expect you to show more experience in this case. Let's approach this man meekly. We can't go through your wife or somebody else this man can listen to explore other situations. Please listen to me. You know what, sir? You you still don't get it. You still don't understand what I'm saying. I appreciate your efforts and your concerns. I thank you. Bruce, but I'm gonna let it go. Just let it go. Don't sound too stubborn here. Let us explore that big situations. Explore the avenues to possible for it to be a part of our business by value. Please, give me this chance. Did he succeed?
boy, didn't you go and take your bath? I couldn't. I tried to get up. I'm feeling so dizzy. When, 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 when did it start? At the point where I was trying to go and take a bath. What are we going to do now? Should I go and beg him myself? No. Why? No, don't, don't. I have already forgone the loan application. Just leave it. Why? Because we cannot get his signature. My love, no, please. Let me try. Listen. No. I do not understand why we should continue to humiliate ourselves because of a simple favor from your father. Simple. But... My love, you don't add... You don't add anger to things like this. No! I said no! I don't want the loan anymore. I don't want it. Just let it go. Okay? That's final. Fine. I heard you. What is it? What is it? What is it? This... This thing is you dizzy again. It's getting serious. It's alright. Right. Yeah, it's not contraction. Because it's not... So, uh, just go to the pharmacy, let them give you all these drugs. Alright, though. Then tomorrow you come for the ultrasound. Ultrasound? Sure, ultrasound. Very important. But, um, <clears throat> doctor, I'm sorry, but how, how much are we talking about? Uh, I mean, look at all these drugs already. Uh, now, ultrasound. Which is a pregnant woman, it's very important. Oh, well. Oh, no, Michael. And, uh, um, it's How so nice you? to see you. Fine, fine, fine. How is home? Mom is there, but it's fine. <laughs> yes. You have to forgive me. I haven't been able to see you for a while. I understand. Thank I you. understand. Thank friend. you. Mm. Good day, Your Majesty. So, would you like something to drink? No, 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 no. Is this your man that brought me? I just want you to append your signature. Oh, well now, give me them. Do you hear me? I said that I will not append my signature to this. Did I not say so? Why do you push me to the wall? Adding insults to, my, to, 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 to the injury. The injury inflicted by this same idiot in my own heart. It's wickedness. The man is wicked. Grew up. I mean, what, what is all? What, what have I done to him? What have I done to this man? You, you should have been there. All of you. you should have been there to see what he did to me. He tore up my form, threw it to my face, and then he got the guard to throw me out. For what? What have I done? How can somebody have so much malice and spite in his heart for another person for no reason? Kasemori, please, please, just take it easy. Take just it easy. Calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. I won't calm down. Why should I calm down? This is wickedness! He doesn't deserve to be called a human being. Cassie. Yes! Well, well, sorry! With all due respect! This is too much to bear! Yes. Shut up! What is all this? What is it? What have I done? What can I even do to him? What have I done? I don't care. It's too much for crying out loud. For all I care. 
He's supposed to be my father-in-law. He's worse to me than the beast can be. Cassia, that man is still my father. I know! And that's why I'm raving mad! That's why I am mad! Let, let's take sentiments out of this, okay? Let's, let's take it out of this. You, you can go. We remove sentiments. He's supposed to be my father-in-law. Yes! Did you see? You should have... He tore all my documents and... It's okay, I've told you to come down. Mama, mama, stop saying that. This kind of thing is very difficult for mama. It's hard to endure. Honestly, that man has really taken too much. Uh uh. What do you want? Eh? Don't you go help me now and keep quiet. Oh, give me. Eh? Mama, I'm very angry. As you are looking at me now, I'm very, very upset. Me, Tochuku, is very, very angry. Let's for me, Luna, just pay that man a visit. Yeah, uh -uh. Tochuku, the, the form in question, is it your own? Eh? Is it your own? Mama, why are you talking like this? Is Kessie not my brother? It's my brother's form now. Why don't you let your brother handle it? Oh, give me a break. Yeah. All I know is that I will always support my brother. Honestly, I will always support him. Uh-uh. Brother. Please forget about it, oh. You are already destined for greatness and there's nothing, absolutely nothing that man can do about it. Oh, Mama, uh -uh, why are you looking at me like that? Are you surprised? No, no, no. I'm just surprised that the person who is saying something reasonable. Mm. It's okay, it's okay. Mm. Nervous or necessary? <laughs> it's not necessary. Oh. Besides, the election is not full yet. It's not full yet. It's not full yet. Because, doctor, when are we expecting it to be full? Mm, well, it could extend till early morning. Uh, it's not predictable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just, it's not predictable. The morning? But sure. didn't you hear her shouting and screaming? I'm feeling her pains. What are you telling me? I did. But listen, I've even gone to tell her that she shouldn't be doing that. Do you understand me? Because the mountain is yet to come. Do you understand me? Oh, do you think she came here to pass you in or something? You're, you, you, you're so much in a hurry. Madam, you know what I'm talking about. We should take it easy, right? Uh, I mean, there are procedures for this. Do you understand me? You just get yourself together, right? Okay, doctor. Besides, I agree with you. Uh, I have instructed them to move out to the work so that once she's out, we'll go see her. Okay. Tell her to see me immediately. All right, welcome. In the morning? Uh, some cases are like that. I'm sure this doctor knows his work. Come and see that. Sorry. Oh. 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 Sorry. Oh.
sorry. What you tell me, sorry? I'm sorry, 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 You know the best time to do something, don't it? Oh. Eh? Just try not to talk too much, oh? Sorry. Mama, move my dress. Move mm -hmm. my dress, Mama. Shh, don't talk. Oh. Shh, shh. I will talk, oh! Mama, I must talk. Sorry. I must talk. Sorry. Sorry. Mama, you found me. Found me. Found me, sorry. 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 Found I'll find you, won't it? Sorry. 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 Young man, you have to calm down. Honestly, you should calm down. The last examination, which was about 10 minutes ago, shows that she's hours from delivery. Hours? Oh, sure. Oh, did you think she came here to pass urine? Listen, let me tell you something. The dilation has to be full before we move on for delivery. Or uh, would you rather she delivers through cesarean? No, 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 doctor, please. No, 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 CS. I don't have that kind of money, I beg you. But my problem, my problem is this. Can't you just give her some medication to, to, to ease her pains? Because it's getting to me, please. Hey, young man, let me tell you something. You need to go home and catch some rest. So that tomorrow, once they call you, you should be strong, right? Just go and catch some rest. Leave, leave us to do our job. Is that okay? Just go home, go home. Let me... Tell her put to bed. Eh? Hmm. Cool. Brother, do you know that it was hunger that woke me up from sleep? I didn't eat anything this night though. I'm very hungry, honestly. Are you hungry? If you're hungry, I can cook. Oh. And your last delivery taking too much time now, eh? Since morning. Did the doctor say when she's likely to be delivered? Hmm? Don't you good night. I want to sleep here because I cannot go to that room alone. I'm, I'll be scared there. That's why I come to this place so that I'll sleep with you. Are you sleeping this side or that side? It's not when I sleep now, you tell me to come inside. Hmm? Brother, don't answer me. Because I want to sleep. There'll be a bright tomorrow. Oh, stay on strong now. Believe me, there'll be a bright tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. some things may never change.
You are here. Yes, doctor. Good morning. Oh, uh, listen. Uh, 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 madam, she cannot. She obviously cannot. You see, baby is breached and wound round by cord. And your other time law is weak. She's done to it. She, can't, she may not be able to push again. So, so what's next? CS. Caesarean session. Just make a deposit of 50,000 naira, sign some documents, then leave the rest to us. Almost 50,000 naira. Is that the only thing you heard? Did you hear the caesarean? Oh, that one is just surgery. Oh, wait. Fifth. Let me sit down. Surgery. <laughs> 50,000 naira. CS. Mama, 50,000 naira. Of course, we'll be needing money to get all the things in place, and you know that. Please. Look at me. Look at me. Look into my eyes. I need your help. Just take your hands off me. I need your help. Yo, man, let me tell you. You know I don't run this place alone. You know that. We need money. Just make a deposit. And just make some deposit then we'll start looking at you. Only what is wrong with you guys? Don't you understand this? Huh? Don't you have feelings? Don't you have human feelings? Don't you see suffering? I am suffering. I'm in pain! Take a look at the girl. I need you to help me. I'm in pain. I'm suffering. Please. Then you must control your temper. with you okay, can you help me uh, trace where he is where Calabar he do what so why is his phone connected why is his phone connected It's 
one minute. Is it not one minute? Look on the phone. Is it not one minute? No. Plus the voicemail, man. Let me ask you if you go voicemail. I beg. I beg, come here, come give me my money. Huh? You the rich? Now you get this shop. Now you open up for me. I beg, pay me. Okay, wait. I didn't tell you to let it go to voicemail. Let me talk to me to go voicemail. How that one take consign me? You don't get money, come here, try numbers. Then they do you. I beg, pay me. Yes, this is too big a business to take unnecessary risks. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll make 20 million available tomorrow. Yeah, 20 million naira, yes. Okay. Please, make sure all the checks and balances are thorough. Of, co of course I trust you. All right. I'll talk to you. Okay? Bye. So, you said um, <clears throat> your wife is in labor. Yes, Your Majesty. You have come here shamelessly. You see, traditionally, no son-in-law goes to his parents-in-law to say, look, uh, your daughter is uh, pregnant. Uh, I want you to give me some money. No. The first time they hear about it is when he goes to announce to them that they are now grandparents, either of a boy or of a girl. But in your own case, in your own pathetic case, you walk in here in your hopelessness. In your foolishness. Wait, wait, where do you think you're going? Now come back here. Oh, sit down. Yes, Your Majesty. What do you stand to gain with all your wickedness? With all this wickedness! I'm sure whatever it is that I've done against you, you've been able to pay me back in a million fold! I thought this was about me, but it's not. You claim you care about your daughter, but you don't. That's a lie. It's all blatant lies. Only with the intention to cover up the truth that you care about no one or anything other than your selfish interest. But I want to tell you, Your Majesty, I am stepping out. And I bet you, God is my witness, that you will never, ever see me again. Now my wife, my unborn baby, and myself, we will survive. Thank you. 
people just come here, say what they like, do what they like. You see? Is that what you have to do? Is that what I pay you for? To say you are sorry? Huh? Huh? Exactly, you are sorry. Get out of here. I say get out! Now, what's happening? Oh. I thought we were in Calabar. Yeah, I called uh, Tino Lowe about an hour ago. That's what he told me. Yeah, I had to say that for me to be here today. Okay? Hop in. Come on, come in. Let's have a Especially people from my office, you know. So how is she? Is she still in labor? Yes, sir. Oh, she's she is still in labor. I see. Since yesterday morning. Don't oh, worry. Talk to the fine, okay? All right. Indicate. Pull up. Indicate. Can give her blood. She's all B positive. What happened? What is the problem? That is the problem. Yes. Can we buy the blood? How much is it? Wait, wait. I'm I'm universal donor. I'm oh, I can give it right. Please hold it. I'm sure they must have ending the operation to have demanded for blood. Are you feeling cold? I feel very cold. Wait. Oh yeah. Try and get up. Try and try and sit up. Try and sit up. Satan is a liar.
Uh, he passed out, right? Yes, doctor. Into coma or what? Into coma, doctor. He was complaining of coldness. The next thing, he relapses. God. Well, okay. Uh, you get, get the blood into the theater. Tell Anne to transfuse it immediately, right? Into her. The wood immediately, madam. Did you, did you check the young man's BP before commencing with the blood donation? Actually, doctor, I did not, due to the urgency of... Wait, you, you, you did not? You did not? Excuse me. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, this is too much. She's okay. The DNC went on fine, you know. She has a baby boy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just give me a second. Excuse me. Uchi, what is going on? Uchi, are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Prof. You see, Prof, actually, uh, the young man was uh, donating blood for his wife, and I don't know what happened thereafter. Yeah, he's gone into a uh, hypovolemic shock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctor, excuse me. Sorry, Prof. I'm sorry, Prof. The CS was okay, it went on fine. Right now, the, the nurses are handling the transfusion. Oh, sure. He went into coma. Yes, he's in coma. I used hydrocot. I used it. All right. Okay, prof. I'll be expecting you. All right, bye. Doctor. She's young man. I asked you to excuse me, please. 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 My friend, I don't know what's happening. Please, can somebody tell me what is happening? Please. Thank you very much, Doctor. You see, um, young man, there is something I would like to ask you. And I will not want you to disclose it to anybody, no matter what, until he comes out of coma. Coma? My, my friend is in coma? Doctor, come on, come on. He, he just donated ordinary blood. Every, every person does that. Well, it's not, even, it's not even coma per se, you know. It's, it's, it's a minor shock. It's normal. Doctor, is he going to be all right? He's going to be fine. Let me ask you something. Would you know anything about your friend's uh, medical history? Medical history? You know, whether he's uh, cancerous or whether he, 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 he has heart problems. I mean, whether he suffers uh, constant headache, you know, migraine or ulcer, you know, anything. You name it. Doctor? Yes. My friend is heart patient. What? I mean, in the past, he has got some heart failures. Jesus Christ. Heart failures? Just a minute. Just a minute. Doctor, a minute, doctor. He said he's, he, he's very tired after the donation, so he decided to place him on bed rest in the intensive care unit. Uh, yes. Maybe that was why the doctor passed there some time ago. I know. 
uh, we go inside it. Another, another nurse came and informed him that there is this patient in the general ward that is convulsing. So I had to run out again. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Um, madam, please. What of this one? Is there any problem? Um, no. His Majesty sent me to him. He asked me to give him this check. Why would you collect it? Receive it on his behalf. And um, he also asked me to check on the princess to know how she's doing. Um. Even though she's still there, they're giving us the good news. Uh, yes, Tim. Break me properly. Mrs. Sir, I, 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 I was still in the theatre after the CS, you know, awaiting blood. Now the lab woman just came knocking, I don't know. Excuse oh. me, sir. The, the man is dead, the young man. What? He, he just took his last breath. Oh, this is impossible. Very possible, Tim. From my examination, I found that he suffered myocardial infarction. Resulting basically from the hypovolemic shock and succinctly from his early heart condition. Yes, I know he couldn't have survived it. That's why I always wanted to check the medical history of every prospective blood donor before commencement of extraction of blood. Find out everything, I mean every necessary thing. This is Carla's death. I'll be loving you. I'll be loving you. I'll be loving you. You see, as for that lab woman, until I kick her ass and make her take responsibility for every loss she made people to suffer in this hospital, she will never learn her lesson. When the world rejects us, well, um, I think we'll report to the family. Let them handle it. Or is he still weak? No, no, I told him. In fact, he was so happy. He, he would have jumped out of the bed if not for the fact that they put drip on him. Are you alright? You're crying. No, there's this ant that's entered my hand. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. 
Oh, yeah, Richie, what is happening? Why are you crying? Huh? Where is Cassie? Where is my son? Oh, yeah, Richie, where is it? Where is your, where is your best friend? Huh? Okay. What do you mean, don't go? He said he's in the intensive care. Let me go and see him there. No what do you mean he's no mother? By the way, what are all these tears for? Huh? Why are you crying? My friend is gone. Huh? Cassie is dead. Cassie is dead. <laughs> no. People don't die like that. Because my son is dead. I am I am pained because he died with a heavy heart. <laughs> my son virtually had nobody to run to. I said, would you hear? <laughs> All his dreams. His aspirations to better people's lives. To make schools better. To turn out good students. Everything is dashed. My son worked so hard. He really worked very hard to actualize that, that dream. He has faded out. He 
He has melted like candle wax. On food. On wine. Hey, if only. Look, I know it is not easy. Eh? But you just have to get a grip on yourself. Please, if you talk less, you'll be able to bear the pain a little. Pico. Mm. Pico Ogum. Oh? Mm. Oh, I'm not crying again. I will not cry. Hey. Kasi Mobi. Kasi Mobi. Look at how malice consumed my son. <laughs> Look at how the strong heartedness of men killed my son. Dashed all his hopes. Hey! <laughs> Look at how the strong spirit of men killed my son. Mama, it's okay. It's okay, Mama. Hey! I am born in. The death of my brother is consuming me. It is consuming me. I can see my son. I can see him weeping. Just of all the dash hopes. Can't see him. Hey. Madam, please calm down. Kasi was a very good colleague to us. Yeah. It's a very big loss. Please. Come down, please, madam. Teacher, I'm happy you understand everything you're talking about. Your ever devoted colleague is gone. Students, so your teacher is no more. You will never see him again. Would you? Cassie is dead. <laughs> hey! Cassie <laughs> Mobio! Hey! Akwego! 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 Calm down! down. Hey! Cassie oh. Mobio is gone. Cassie Mobio is gone. <laughs> Akwego, Cassie Mobio is gone. Akwego, you weep too much. Hey! You weep too much. Mm. Just, just commit his soul to God hey. Almighty. Eh? I don't know. Who will take care of your daughter-in-law? Mm. Eh? Mm. You have to help your daughter-in-law to bear the shock. Mm. If you're weeping like this, who is going to take care of her? Pico, oh, you yeah, are not a no more. You are not a good one. You are not a good one. You are not a good one. You Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine, Kechi. Cassie has not come. Mama has not come to see me. Even Tochi has not come to see me. Isn't that strange enough? Something has to be wrong. Anyway, I'll just wait for him. I'll wait until he comes. I want to hear what he will tell me happened. The lie is going to tell me to cover up for the whole thing. And I'll really get annoyed with him. Leave this compound. You never cherished us in our days of joy. Why cherish us in our days of grief? Your greatest heart desire has been manifested. Why aren't you feasting, Father? Why? Why are you here? To make us feel that you're touched? When deep down your heart, you're happy and thanking God that your prayers have been answered. Cassie has given his life for you. He's given his life to win your love and your prayers, Father. Selfish and insincere love. And you come here, adorned in your crown, you sit and you pose like a mourner. Who are you deceiving? Who are you and who are you fooling? Leave this compound before I do something really awful. No, no. All of the people just take it easy. No, Mama. My ties with this man have been broken. Whatever binds us together has been broken. Let him leave. Hola. 
Ola, remember your health condition. He didn't think of my health condition when he did what he did. He never thought of that when he lavished her with so much hostility. I stand to denounce you today, father. I! I denounce you! I cause whatever bounds that binds us together! Ola, don't let you out! No, auntie! Ola, don't talk like that, please. I, no! Where were you, mama? Where were you? Do you know what this man did to Cassie and I? Why? This man savaged us with so much cruelty. Today, God has sat as a judge. He has sat as a judge to judge you and my husband. And the difference is, Cassie, my husband, died in the arms of those who loved him and those he loves. But you, you will die in the cold hands of loneliness. I have spoken! I have spoken! God knows that I have spoken. I! not want dinner. Are you alright, Your Majesty? <sighs> no, I am not. Would you be alright if you were in my shoes? I was rejected by my child today. Treated with abject levity. Cursed and doomed to die in the sea of loneliness. Udo. Was that fair? No, Your Majesty. That was quite unfair. It was not fair. But, but I. I sinned. Udo. Yes. I sinned terribly against my daughter, her husband, and their innocent unborn oh, baby. I overcarried my drive for vengeance. And today, it has ruined me. It has ruined me because the passion of hate that I saw in her eyes as she spoke to me oh, convinced me that she will never forgive me again. She won't. Take it easy when you, Your Majesty. Don't let that weigh you down. Your Majesty. What do you want? Chief Tombra is on the line for you. He said it's about the oil well. No, tell him I'm not interested in, 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 in that. Tell him, tell him, tell him. But Your Majesty, he said it's very much. I said, get, tell him I don't want it. Get out. Get out. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Are you two? No, out. Out. Leave me alone. All of you.
to the last day I saw your face. Always made a difference in my life. At first, you made me have a life. And then, you made me feel like you thought me how to enjoy life. But now you're gone. You're gonna never do it all. I feel you around me, Cassie. I feel you around me. I stretch forth my hands. And I'm caressed by the breeze of silence. I'm caressed by the soothing breeze of silence. A clear medication for your absence. And the sad part of loneliness. Why? Why did you leave me? I thought we both were going to be in this forever. Why did you leave my life alone? Why? God of justice. God of fairness. God of consolation. Come and console me, God. Come and console me. I put him in this. I put him in this. How could I put him in this? He was fighting for me. He was fighting to save me. He was fighting to keep me alive. I would have lived this life for him. Maybe we'll have been here to dry my tears today. <laughs> Don't you? I would never, I would never. I should never have married him. I should never have married him. Death has ravished me. On oh, who shall I lean on? Who shall I pour my burdens to? <laughs> Where shall I go from here? <laughs> Dad, what more can you do to me? What more can you do? What more can you sting, Dad? What? <laughs> no, Mama. My tears is my food, Mama. Let me eat it, Mama. <laughs> Let me cry for a good man, Mama. Let me cry for a good man. <laughs> I love I'll be back for you. I'll be back to let you come back. You will never go lonely as long as I live. I'll be right there. You'll never go lonely. I'll be right there. Thank you, Lord. Protect you right there from the storm. It's okay. I love you. It's okay. It's okay. Did you have to make it so sudden? Cassie, shouldn't you have remembered me? Shouldn't you have thought of your unborn son? Cassie, shouldn't you have remembered your lovely wife? Or even Tochi?
Uh, Timmy, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. And then, so, uh, how is the chief? Why didn't he come with you? Yes, chief couldn't come, Your Majesty. Um, he's following a lead right now. Lead? Uh, is everything all right? Your Majesty, something drastic happened. What happened? We just discovered that the agents for the sale of the oil block were not authorized by the federal government. Yes. yes. You, it, it was a scam. You, you believe the whole one hundred million. Message was a bit, a bad one because they said that he slumped. They rushed him to hospital. On getting there, the doctor, the doctor said that he was struck by stroke. And that is why he wants to see my son and I. Oh, no. But, oh, just calm down. No, Mama. No. Nobody should come into this feud between that man and myself. Yes. Let him face his. Hey, shut up. Biko, 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 Biko. Nobody should, 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 should support him, no. Eh? Stop supporting him. Biko, Biko. Hey, Biko. Don't pour fuel already burning fire. Hola. Biko, no, mom. We are talking about your father here. My brother. All he is asking is that you bring his grandson to him to set his eyes on him. For the last time, before his ancestors finally call him. Biko, candidly? Candidly, Auntie. You think that I'm going to grant such a request? Do you know what Cassie and I suffered in the hands of that man? Do you know what he did to us? You know what he did to him? You think that I will let that man see my son? Honestly? No. Allah, the malice between two brothers is just skin. Yes, so that she will know that I'm There is no point, Auntie. There is no point. A fatherly man that has cost me my life. Taking away the most important man in my life and left me so bare on this earth. It's worth taking into my bones. I disown my father, Mama. Yes. Ayola! The bond between my father and I has been broken. It got broken the very day Cassia died. As long as nobody can bring Cassia back to life to me, nobody should even try to rekindle. No love! No love between that man and myself. Ola! Ola, don't be so bad, Papa! Hey, Ola, don't! I'm not going to let you walk up. Go, 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 Doctor, when did he get to this stage? Just late this evening. Do you think he will come out of it? Mm, yes, definitely he will. Only we can't say exactly when. You'll be left alone until we're able to discern the gravity of the situation. Is the doctor here? He asked so much of her. Hey! Oh! Come down. Hey. Oh, take it easy. Who did that again? 
In the wake of something like this, you justify yourself by forgiving those who have offended you. But you will be condemning yourself if you still hold those their sins against them. We all know that what your father did was wrong. But you need to prove a point. You need to show a difference. That way, you will be justifying yourself and it becomes his condemnation. Leave vengeance to God. Oh, let God be the judge. This will become your father's condemnation. I would like to advise you now to show him mercy, especially at this point of his life. Oh, mom, please show him mercy. That way you'll be handing him over to his ancestors for judgment. I don't want you to look at it as if mama is talking. No. I want you to believe these words I'm telling you today. Believe them because they are the right, right thing. Believe them because it's the right thing to do. Something everybody would want you to do including Cassie, if he were alive today. Olaf, forgive. Forgive Mwambigo. Forgive your father. How? How can I forgive a man who took everything away from me? A man who denied me the joy of marriage. How, Mama? Let God be the judge. He shattered my heart, Mama. He broke my heart. He took everything away from me, including my dreams. My daughter. Again, I'll tell you to hand everything over to God. Mom, why? You know what that man did to us? You know what that man did to my own Cassie? He humiliated him, Mama. How? How can I forgive a man like that? How? I know. Only Biko. You don't need to pay him back. Oh, Biko. I'm not... <sighs> I am not... Stroke, Mama. I'm not the one who gives stroke. I don't know what. Oh! Eh? <gasps> Ola. Eh? Where is that your Kadafia? Where, where is that? Oh, Biko. I don't know how to use it, Biko. 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 Sorry, Biko. Sorry, 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 sorry. Biko. 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 Because, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything on it again. Oh, we'll drop the subject. Oh, because, 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 because,
Yes, sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You made it quite early today. Eh? Uh, doctor, we had to. Biko, how is he today? Uh, he's fine. That's the doctor, right? Yes. Would you know when your aunt would be here? <sighs> doctor, please. Can we see him now? Oh, well, we moved him to somewhere else. Where? Where? I'm sorry, His Majesty could not make it. <gasps> she loved you so much. Before he died, he left one message for you. That you, you should please forgive him. 